What is up, winning team? Hello, my beloved winning team, the best team on the planet, the best homo sapiens that exist, my very hope in all of humanity. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about Hollyweird and why we're going to be bringing the Hollyweird videos back. In fact, I've actually already filmed a bunch today and I'm going to film a lot more because I went on a deep dive. You guys know me, by the way. I've just been out in the rain because it was raining and I was like, I'm going to go listen to some music and just, you know, vibes in the rain. And just So I'm in an extra, extra good mood despite the fact that in like the last seven, the last three days, I've slept like a total of 10 hours. <laughs> it's stupid. It's so stupid. Like I was supposed to have gone to sleep and then I was just awake still this morning and then I went for a walk. And then, and then I just started the day, like, <laughs> well, I guess we're not sleeping just yet. This happens though, because like, I just went on a deep dive with the Lord, you guys. I went on a deep dive because guess what happened three days ago, okay? And this led to the Holly weird thing. This led to everything. This led to me coming back. This led to all of this that's happening now. I, I don't know where it came up, but somebody, someone mentioned the fact that there's a 400 year period between the old and new testament and i i went oh i never even thought about that i didn't know that so then i did a deep dive when i tell you guys i did a deep dive i did the deepest dive that you could possibly do that's why i barely slept because i was just going and going and it was so fascinating i was like i have to get from one side to the other and i was taking notes like guys i wrote a whole book like I was taking notes. Look at this. Look how thick this is. Look how thick this is. This is me taking notes. This is me taking notes. Yeah. Because I was like, I have to have notes. I have to have my own notes. Cause this is like how I was in school. I'm the same in the same way I studied. I remember once upon a time feeling convicted in church, like that, like I, and when I'm studying, I like take notes or whatever. So why would I not study the Bible like that? And ever since then I was like a teenager, I take notes of everything in the Bible. I make notes like it's school. You know what I'm saying? Also, and there's a reason because I always used to make notes because I used to feel like the textbooks and whatever, they just got too much, too much of this, too many words. Things can be a lot more concise. So I concise everything down so that when I need to flip back, I can just get to the, you know. So I went through the whole 400 years. And let me tell you, it's juicy and i'm gonna be doing videos about it in fact should i do like a little mini series would that be fun would you guys like a mini series because basically the people of god so the bible finishes in malachi and the people of israel have split into two separate kingdoms now within israel and then the next thing we that's at the end of malachi the next thing we find ourselves when with jesus in matthew but before that there's a whole time period of 400 years. And that's where the Pharisees form. The Sadducees form. Oh yes. The body of Christ once again split once again into six different groups. And boy, the actions of those six groups is exactly what has affected us to this day. Because then I got obsessed with it all. And then I got to the part where I had to then, I, I got to the part then through all of the New Testament, I went through all of the New Testament <laughs> And then I had to go through where it finished all the way till now because it's like there's no way I'm leaving any stone unturned at this point. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to go through all the all the the, the the centuries. And boy was it fascinating. Boy did I learn. I learned about the Lord. I learned about the world. I learned about the church. I learned about the kingdom of darkness. I learned about the kingdom of heaven. And I learned about Holly Weird because there were some really interesting things that I found out just about the origins of a lot of these things in the entertainment industry and to like kind of give you guys a, a gist as to why I put those videos to the side. I really want this channel to be something that is productive. You know what I'm saying? I don't want us to just talk. Like this is why I don't, I would never class my channel as a commentary. I think it's, we're way past the days of anybody thinking this is a commentary channel. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be so for real. <laughs> uh, I, I really get sick and tired in this life, in this world. This is one of the reasons I love the Lord because he's proactive and he's a doer and he's not just a talker, um, is exactly that. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of, oh, we expose so-and-so. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah, yeah. the evil in this world. You gotta know the truth. But then it's like, but to what end? Because I'm like, if we're learning stuff, if we're doing stuff, it's gotta be for a purpose for us to win. That's gotta be, it's gotta be getting us somewhere. So like for me, for example, 
I obsessed over Adam and Eve for two years. This is what I get like, you guys. I obsess over things. It's bad. I'm a scientist. So I'm saying I can't sleep. I should be asleep right now. I should be asleep and I feel alive and I feel ready to move on to the next thing that I want to study now. It's just insane. Like it just gets like this. Cause then me and the Lord and I'm asking the Lord questions and then I'm like, oh, no way. Like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. The stuff that we found, I, oh God, you guys, you guys. I'm going to do the mini series for sure, for sure. Cause you, you guys have to know about the, the, the people in the, in the, what the, the people of God did in those 400 years and everything. And I had to do an extra deep dive because then I had to look into the Roman empire. So then I had to study the whole Roman empire. So then I also took notes, the whole Roman empire from the very beginning to the very end. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's insane. Like, it's insane. But I love it. Like, this is what I wish I could do all the time. Like, if I didn't have to be a freaking adult on planet Earth and needs stupid money, by the way, which was also very much a big god that reigned and uh, unfortunately reigned over the uh, people of God, I would spend so much more. You guys think my videos are good now? Listen, let the Lord give me t extra time. <laughs> We got, we got Megan and Mars before Elon. No, I'm joking, because I ain't got, that's not even the plan. Oh, about Mars as well, because Mars, oh, now we're here again. So I discovered that it was oh, the origins of Rome. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to get into that, but oh my gosh, there's so much to say. Anyway, back to Hollywood. Anyway, I found out and I started to see where the origins of like theatres, like the god of the theatre and how a lot of our theatres are like basically essentially temples to these demonic entities that we are using in the very industries that we're in now and how, oh, it's just, there's so much to it. And so basically what I'm saying is I found that I finally got to the point where there was enough of some stuff to add to what we'd done before, because I kind of before felt like we'd exhausted it. And I don't want to just talk about stuff that's going on in the world for the sake of it. And the other thing is I kind of got sick, as you guys would know, of always talking about stuff that people don't believe or are not taking very seriously. Because, I mean, I've accepted at this point, I've had to accept in the last couple of weeks, especially, which I've been having the couple of weeks from hell, let me tell you, let me tell you. But it, all, it always happens like this. It's always like before I'm going to come into some huge revelation, like amount of information, like download from the Lord, right? That just before that, I'm like feeling like I'm at the edge of my life. Like it always, it's just like that because the enemy is trying to stop whatever the Lord's trying to do. Because if he, I find out, because as soon as I, as soon as I hit the truth hits me, I don't hesitate. I'll just start like, so I'm saying that's why like I've been doing this and I've been studying and I should be sleeping. And then I'm, I could have just been like, I'll sleep and I'll record tomorrow. I was like, no, nope. no, nope. we got, we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. Right. Unless it's work. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was a side note, but that is the truth, by the way, you guys, like in this times that we're living in, that's another thing that I realized in this time, in the last couple of weeks, when you are actually a threat to the kingdom of darkness, like if you're not a threat to the kingdom of darkness, you will never understand it because the kingdom of darkness is going to leave you alone. It's going to leave you alone. They're not going to fight you on all angles. I was getting fought on every angle. You guys, you guys would not imagine the things that I that happened in the last couple of weeks. I'm not going to say for now out of like the fact that I don't want to dis I don't want to disrespect the like genuine protection of the Lord by mentioning what went down, if that makes sense, because the Lord for sure is protecting me because there's nobody else freaking protecting me. So praise Jesus and the praise Jesus and thank God for the, for the angels, which at this point I feel like on my handlers. <laughs> and boy do I need it because yeah it was it, it, it was crazy you guys you would you would like if I told you guys oh my gosh I wish in another universe I would have never done what I'm doing now and I just would have made story times and I promise you people would be loving it because the stuff that happens when I was literally like a movie anyway so I got to the point where like now I have more information that we can apply that we can use. And one of the biggest things that I just needed some deeper level of hundred percent confirmation of like in terms of the end, in terms of Holly weird that I didn't have before was I needed more evidence that it truly is all of Hollywood that is demonic. I believe that it was as in, when I say that I'm not saying everybody in it, I'm saying the whole entity everything about it and majority of the people involved. 
Like the rarity is the people who are not involved. Do you see what I'm saying? So um, I needed to know that. I had the sense of that because that's always happened to me. I always have a sense of something. And then I kind of have to like a lot of the stuff that I studied that I found out was just adding to things that I already was like kind of sensing. That's another thing I discovered in the last couple of weeks that like I'd be like ignoring my discernment. My discernment be so strong on point like so on point and, and then I listen to people who have poor discernment and then I go against my discernment with theirs and then things go wrong and the Lord was like yeah because why are you not listening to what I'm telling you I thought you believe that the Holy Spirit resides inside of you and I'm like oh my gosh God I'm so sorry so I had to apologize to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit be trying to tell me stuff says I ain't be listening so we had to apologize to the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit we apologize again um but yeah so now we've added layers because now I'm seeing how even the entertainment industry, it truly is like, guys, it truly is just a battle between two sides. Cause like when I was going through all of this, like studying, it's almost like the devil literally does just like the matrix. He goes to whoever is the current, uh, willing opposition of the people of God. And by opposition, willing opposition, I mean, willing to worship him. So if you look even through before the, the period that's not in the Bible, because bear in mind that 400 year period is not written in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. So you, it, this is historical texts that I'm looking at. So it's really interesting, like historically, like so interesting, right? Um, yeah, so interesting. But anyway, even if you look like before, if you go through like the books of the King, the King Judges, Kings, Chronicles, all of those books, right? In the Old Testament, even like everywhere you go, it was always a battle between God's people and the, and the kingdom of darkness's people. And the result was always dependent on one thing, whether the people of God were true and whether they, they were, um, they followed the Lord or whether they didn't, that was the only deciding determining factor. And I came to realize that that is the only ever determining factor of anything because the enemy will just literally like in the matrix jump into whatever opposition he needs to jump into to get at you that's what he does so as they went along that's why one minute it's the philistines next time next minute it's the babylonians next minute it's the romans next minute it's the pharisees for goodness sake literally like in the matrix when mr smith just hops into whatever vessel is right near where neo is it's the exact same thing and that's exactly what's happening in the entertainment industry the entertainment industry holly weird is so unbelievably demonic and it's not even just like when i'm saying this you guys bearing in mind that i already think i already know we already know about the adrenochrome we already know about the sacrificing we already know about this but it goes so much deeper to the level of which dedication that these people are going to to get away what they're doing and how serious they are about it. And that's what really stu stuck out to me is that these people are really such a serious, strategic, well-organized, well-functioning, demonic kingdom. Not just like, like Holly weird, the Holly weird people know they're weird. They're very well aware of who they work for because I had this question and, and the Lord kind of answered it. I was like, God, I don't understand. Like, how can people know you exist? Cause like, there's people who are battling between they don't know if they believe in God and whatever. That's one thing. And that's understandable, right? So if you don't know if God is real and whatever, then you may get caught up with the devil because you may be thinking it's not that deep anyway, or I don't love God or God doesn't love me or whatever it is, right? That's, that's, that's a different story, right? That's a completely different story. It's a different story to the people that know, because I was like, God, some people actually just do know. Like they do know the truth. Like they do know the truth. They know who you are. They know you're the God who created the universe and they're going against you anyways. Why do they feel so comfortable to do that? Why do they continue anyways? This is the questions I've been asking the Lord. I'm going to talk about this a little bit, maybe in another video. And then the Lord answered me. And well, not even, he didn't even directly answer me. It was answered when I watched this interview. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then I watched this three, this like three hour interview. I, I don't know where sleep left, left sleep left the building. Listen, when I don't have, to, when the days when I'm not working, um, whatever, and this week I had even less. Oh my gosh. I take advantage of the time to actually like, just get lost in the clouds of the Lord. 
literally lo- I'm like gone out of the universe like gone out of the universe but anyway um there was this grand master this 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 warlock right high ranking warlock he was he was he was uh, um sacrificed as a baby as a one year old um he was his his mum sacrificed him and he became a a uh, um a warlock of satan he did it all the way until he was 24 years old and um why did i mention him oh i remember because he was talking about exactly what they have to do now i want you guys to hear this i've by the way if you didn't know i have a playlist it's called videos you need to watch i always add videos in there whenever i see videos that i think you guys should watch I never remember to mention it. Please go and find it and like save it or something because I always be adding videos in there. And these are just videos for you guys to watch that I feel like you really have to watch. Like I try to keep it just to the ones that I really think like these you should definitely watch as opposed to just like every other video. So it's rare that I put a video in there. So when I put a video in there, it means that I think you should really watch it. Like watch the video. But the video is in there. It's long. It's like three hours. But boy, will they keep you on the edge of your seat because it tells you the whole story. In there, he talks about how they were stationed. So there was a group of people praying, group of Christian people had made an agreement that they were going to sit and pray together for six hours a day for 90 days, every day, three till six, three till 9 p.m. And they and that was their covenantal agreement that they made together. They made an agreement, a covenant. We're going to do this. And 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 what they didn't know, which the, the which this master warlock knew, because uh, was that these prayers that they were doing, first of all, were going around and actually helping reviving churches around the world, right? This is how the body of Christ is supposed to work. Again, like a, like a, like a, like a system. You see what I'm saying? It's like a system where everybody does their part. And if everybody plays their part, then it's going to work. That's why the kingdom of darkness is doing so well. That's why the kingdom of darkness kept doing so well throughout history because he would just, the, the devil would just jump into whatever is the net, the, 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 the most re- the most local or whatever or ready vessels and of course right there were things like how caligula emperor caligula in rome was was would took a was trying to destroy the lord's temples and was taking pigs and like took a pig and slaughtered it on the altar of the most high god right so there's a battle there like whoever's there with the people of god and the people of god were oppressed by the romans and the romans were again worshiping their gods they were actually doing the things to worship their gods meanwhile the body of christ even then even then is just like today like this is what was insane to me about like looking into all of this just like today were divided and while they're being divided their 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 enemies are so well organized worshiping their god and then it just becomes like god's just here like this i honestly envision god like this as in like i'm waiting for you guys like when jesus came imagine after all that time after all of this after all of those 400 years after the end of the israel whatever whatever jesus christ comes and then he says the harvest is plenty but the labor is a few and look at the kingdom of darkness today look at hollywood Look at how well of an oiled machine there is. They've got a perfect little, every person to do every type of different spell, different this, different that to meet whatever they need, whoever they need to trip up, whoever they need to throw off. Like this master warlock was saying that he was confident because he was always usually successful in his missions. So they were, they were sent to go and break up this 90 days of prayer because that 90 days of prayer was going to have a 70 year effect. And in order to do that, if he succeeded, he was going to be upgraded, if you can imagine, into a higher ranking in the demonic kingdom and given like half a milli. But guess what? If he failed, his mother was going to die. And also just to say that he succeeded in breaking this thing. And he succeeded, you know why? Because they had papers. They had paperwork like this, 500 pages, that the demonic kingdom, the human vessels, had paperwork, 500 pages, listing all of the issues that that family had had through the lineage, 
all of the 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 the, the problems that had been throughout the family, the weaknesses of that individual in person themselves, all of this, so that they had things to go and nitpick at. So that's what they did. They went to the church. They told they gave the pastor some money so that he he was looking after money. They knew he needed money. They brought him money. Um, they knew they knew um that one of the ladies struggled with unforgiveness because of a situation she'd been through with her mum. So they poked in the in the area of unforgiveness on purpose to get the woman to make to react poorly. And then when the woman react poorly, it enabled them to gain a foothold into the thing. Because they were told you can't touch them because they're the they're the anointed of the Lord. And as the anointed of the Lord, if you attack them, you will die. But you can get them to walk out from what they're doing. It's insane. It's insane. You can get them. So they have all this paperwork. They're organized. He's come, this warlock. He's from Uganda. He's going all the way to, I can't remember what country he went to, right? Um, I think it was Tanzania. Goes there and then he's got these other women who are with him. It's all orchestrated. One of them persuades, buys the pastor a house so that he can't be at the commune where they all lived, where they were all doing these prayers together. The other two weasel their way into the Bible study and start trying to cause fights and whatever. Lo and behold, day 89, they managed to get, they've not done anything. They've just done some little smart chess piece moves. And in the end, the lady who they had poked in the wound of on the first time they were there, the day before these guys are about to reach 90 days of prayer on day 89. And she loses her temper and hits the pastor. And then because now there's been this altercation, nobody shows up on day 90. Nobody shows up on day 90. And they did it. And you know what's more, even sick, more sick about it? First of all, the fact that they didn't never attack. All they did was just know these people really well and know how to manipulate them. Right? The whole story is in my thing. It's very interesting. I should go watch it because I'm missing out a lot of details. Because it's actually, he then ends up getting saved. Because guess what? On day 91, he's supposed to fly to guess where? Rome. The Vatican. To go and get his upgrade. Now, you see, this is, for those of us who are from African descent and from outside of the Western world, these stories aren't crazy because we know about this stuff. In the West, let me tell you guys, if you're from Western society, I'm going to tell you something that you need to know. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys in a separate video. Mm, mm, I'll say it. Mm, I'll say it now as well. Western society, let me tell you something you need to know. Your people in power have purposely hidden spiritual things from you that they have learned from other places in the world and or your forefathers and ancestors participated in so they can use it against you. So they get you to think, oh, that's crazy. That could never happen. So then you never know that it could happen so they can use it against you. And that's what, what they're doing in the entertainment industry. This is what I'm saying, how it all factors into each other. And this guy's going to go to Rome to get upgraded. Guess what? A 19-year-old Christian girl stops him because the Lord told her, he pulls up 600 witches with him to attack her, right? One of which he turns out to find out after the fact was one of them was Lucifer himself. Turns out that Jesus pulls up on the scene. This is in real life, by the way, it's real life events. When you've been in the people around, when you've been with the Lord, this stuff isn't crazy. It's not crazy, right? And then, Anyways, long story short, they stop him from getting on the flight. He gets delivered from all of these demons. And this girl hugs him for the first time he's ever been hugged in his life is by a Christian person at age 24 because he was sacrificed as a kid and he had never hugged anybody in his life until he was 24 years of age, the day that he met Jesus. And he said that was one of the craziest things to happen to him. You know why? Because you know what his flight was about to happen on his flight? You know what the plan was? Because somebody else told him this after the fact. When he got to Rome, you know what they were going to do? They were going to sacrifice him. They were going to kill him and, and share his body parts because now his vessel was so powerful from all these 23, 20, 23 years that he's been this grandmaster and he succeeded in defeating this plan. So now so they can get that energy. Oh my gosh, this is exactly like Seven Deadly Sins. Like everything is like exactly like Seven Deadly Sins right now, the anime. Anyway, um, and so... God literally saved his life. He was about to get, if he'd got on that flight and he got there, he would have died and gone to hell. So this is the types of things we're dealing with is what I'm trying to say to you guys. 
this is the types of things that we're dealing with. And I've been list- looking at the different like contracts in the entertainment industry, well, not contracts, sorry, um, court cases that people have brought up. And the public cannot stand. The public cannot stand because the public does not believe. The power is with the people, but the people don't believe. So all they have to do is be more serious about what they're doing than the Christians. Like I said, it's always down to those two things. Whoever are the chosen people of God, how effective they're being at that point. Are they with God? Are they not with God? If you read through the books of Kings, it's literally like back and forth and back and forth or whatever, whatever. And the people did right in the eyes of the Lord and they prospered and they prevailed over their enemies and they, they abided in riches and abundance and so and so and so and so. And then it's like, and the people did not do what was right in the sight of the, and the people of Israel did not do what, what was right in the sight of the Lord. And they were overcome by their enemies and they were stricken into slavery and they were stricken into this, that, and the other. It's a battle. And there is always a winner or a loser. Life is a war. It is a battle. Do you see what I'm saying? And this is what, like, I was thinking, like, the battle, like, with the entertainment industry is that, like, now the reason I have to talk about it all over again, like, not all over again, because whatever was there was already there, and I brought out any videos I felt like needed to come back out already. The reason we need to go deeper is because this industry really has its teeth in us in a way that I don't think we realize is as, as, as heinous as it actually is. In the sense that, because we don't believe in this stuff, but the other side believes. This is what I'm, to, this is what I'm saying. This is what I historically saw in the Bible, in, in, the histor- in the Bible itself, in history as well. In all of history, this is why I've said to you guys before so many times, right? That I don't, the fact that we are taught like history of the last 50, 100 years, that's not history. That's yesterday. We know people. If we know people alive in the time that they're talking about, that's not history. To me, history at least has to be 500 years ago. 1,000 years ago. So that's why I had to go through all of it because I was like, well, now I've got to know how the story ends. I've got to know what happens next and I've got to know what happens next and I've got to know what happens next and I've got to know how we got here. And then all of a sudden it all made sense. All of a sudden it all made sense. Because at every single point, over and over again, God's people turn away. God seeks them out, finds them, restores them. They live abundantly. They give themselves away to false gods. Find themselves in poverty, in slavery, being oppressed, being whatever, whatever. Their their enemies prevail. Why? Because their enemies, again, are worshipping their gods more seriously than than the people of God are worshipping the God they should be worshipping. Matter of, and not to forget, not to not to mention. Let's not forget that when you operate with, like, just like they tell you in the movies, they literally tell you, magic comes with a price. Magic comes with a price. That's what I thought when that guy said, we had to defeat that. We had twenty one days to 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 left to disrupt that ninety days of prayer, or our mothers, all of the mothers of all of these five people were going to die. And in fact, he was even saying that when he's now married and he's saved and he's got the Lord and everything and whatever, and it's amazing. He even said that because of what he does, he had had like three different girlfriends. Every time he had a girlfriend at the six month mark, they would die. And it was all to do with all this stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, and so when I'm saying this and it sounds crazy, and this is where my frustrations come from a lot of the time, like, cause I'm just like, look, we're looking at the world. We're looking at what's happening. We're, we're, we're confused when the truth is presented to us. We don't want to believe it because we go, we do the Adam and Eve thing of like trying to make sense of something in our human brains. We'll say, oh, but that doesn't really make sense. Cause there's no way that dot, dot, dot. There's no way that dot, dot, dot. Like I was listening to this woman who was going through Beyonce that, cause you know, Beyonce's drama came out and said Beyonce was doing spells and was stalking me and she killed my cat through witchcraft. People are like, there's no way you can do that. There's no way. Because in our human understanding, in our flawed human understanding, we don't believe these things. And then, because we don't, the king of darkness can continue. Because then when the person... Do you know what somebody pointed out that I thought was really fascinating? And it is fascinating. That why is it that one of the, the, the symptoms of schizophrenia is thinking that the government is chasing after you. 
the government. Why only the government? That's one of the symptoms of schizophrenia. If you start to suggest, and it's again, power move from the devil. Try and tell people, yes, we're for, trying to find you. Try and tell people that. They're not going to believe you. You know why? Because I made sure also while I was in the pharmaceutical industry to get all the psychologists and whatever to say, that's crazy. That's crazy. If they're saying that, they must be schizophrenic. And now they've convinced, <clears throat> convinced us that everything that we... We do every characteristic we have. Oh, it's because it's ADHD. Oh, it's because I've got this disorder. Oh, it's because of that. There's always another reason and it's never anything, like it's never anything that's truly solvable. Pharmacy from the Greek word what? Pharmakia, which means what? Witchcraft, poison. So, yeah, we need to address a lot of stuff, basically, is what I'm trying to say now. Like, I really had to go, like, on a really deep, deep, deep dive, and I'm still in the deep dive because there's more that I got to do. I got to do more. <laughs> there's more that I got to do because I got to understand some things. And, like, I really want this. I really am hoping and praying now. Like, I feel like I'm at the, I'm finally at the point where I'm okay with, like, oh, gosh, I can't say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm, o I'm okay with the idea that people watch my videos <laughs> I know that sounds so silly, but I, 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 it overwhelms me like a lot of the time, like just thinking like, oh my gosh, what if I said the wrong thing? And what if, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but then now I'm just thinking like, if really, if the state of the world is really as it is, and I'm really reading and seeing everything for what it is for myself, and I'm really studying and I'm really understanding and I'm seeing things in a whole different light, I'm realizing that like, I can't even afford to not want I can't even afford to not do what I need to do myself as in like I can't afford to not want people to watch my videos I can't afford to not want to open my voice I can't afford to not want to like say what needs to be said because again then I'm just the same problem of same old same old same old um Israel same old all the time right meanwhile the other people are doing everything all of these people in the entertainment industry breaking their backs you know, doing these world tours right now, Taylor Swift's on Errors tour that I feel like has been going on for the equivalent of how long I did my, it took me to do my degree. Like how long is this Errors tour? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Proudfully walking around the witch that she is, casting the Swifty spell. You guys can go and watch that video. I'm uploading a video called the Swifty spell and what it is. Right. And um, I can't afford to. And we just can't, you guys. Like, I'm I, like, we can't afford anymore. We can't afford to be distracted by the wrong things and we can't afford to be divided. I'm going to do a whole separate video that's going to be towards the world. This video is mainly more for the winning team members because that's why I've mentioned a lot more like slightly personal things in this video because I know that like you winning team peeps, you, you peeps is my peeps, by the way. I love you guys so much literally love you guys so much. I feel the love. Do you know what's funny? I was thinking about the other day, like I realized this is when I was thinking about my discernment thing, right? I was thinking one thing is every time, every feeling I, I have about people, it's always, uh, most of the time it's been correct in my entire life. That's why a lot of the exposés that are happening, the reason why they don't surprise me is because I always had bad feelings about these people from like when I was a kid, like I had bad feelings, whether it's like people in the entertainment industry, whether it's like people in, you know, media, whether it's people like these church leaders, because obviously, like I said, no, as you guys know, growing up as a pastor's kid in general, you meet a lot of different pastors and, and leaders and priests and deacons and bishops and all sorts, right? But then you're also just aware so much more of all the denominations, all the different types of other worldwide ones and who's in what. And obviously, again, being international, being international and then so having been in you know churches in the Amer in America churches in England churches in 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 Africa so i saw a lot of things and as a kid i didn't i wasn't really being spoken to i was observing and i was having a lot of these like just inklings about things so a lot of stuff that's happening i'm realizing oh my gosh i was spot on and i'm saying that to say that 
it's so weird because I don't have to meet people to gauge their energy. And like, that's the thing. <laughs> that's why when I say to you guys, I love you guys because you guys are like the purest, genuine souls. I can tell. I can feel it. The same way that I knew a long time ago about certain people that I've never met, like other people. And I'm just like, I just see them. And it's not even that I've heard they've done anything. It's that I just can sense their like energy. Yeah. And I'm like, no. And then so I talk to some of you guys and I'm like, you guys are so amazing. So I'm going to do a separate video, but yeah, guys, we really need to, it's time to like buckle up as I've been saying in my videos. No, but seriously, it's time to get serious because like it is very, it was very humbling for me. Like I had to, uh, there was a few things that the Lord said and that the Lord shown me in the last like couple of days <laughs> um, that I didn't, Let's say I didn't want to have to accept, but I have had to, I'm having to accept and I'm having to learn to accept and certain things that I don't really want to have to do. Um, but I'm going to have to do because again, I'm out here picking and choosing for the most part. I'm not, it's just one particular, one particular thing, but, <laughs> um, and I, you know, and I can't afford to be doing that when the kingdom of darkness is doing whatever they're being asked to do, wherever they need to be, wherever they need to do, they're doing it, whoever they need to sacrifice, whoever they need to, you know, and like the reason why I even mentioned just now, this guy who, who, who said that if they, if they succeeded, then they would, then they would, um, whatchamacallit, if they succeeded, they would get upgraded or whatever. But if they failed, then their parent, their mother would die. Right is I was wondering if this is types of things that the devil is using in the entertainment industry, as in like people have been giving, given assignments. Like I, you have to do the, the errors tour and you have to do 40 shows because in these 40 shows, you're going to cast in this now amount of demons. If you don't manage to do all of these 40 sh shows, you're going to lose so-and-so. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if that's, I know there's obviously that's just the direct ones and things like that. And obviously they can just go and do whatever they need to do. And I mean, this guy who was explaining it, he was like, so one of the tactics they used is they put a spell of eczema on, on the pastor's daughter so that it would keep him up at night so that hopefully he'd be tired and feel too tired to come in and do this prayer thing. And the funny thing is they couldn't get him, them not to show up until the final day, like I said. So they tried all these things, and this is what I'm saying. At a certain point, I'm gonna talk about this more in another video, because th this video, like I said, is more to the winning team, just to explain why like, we need to talk more about Hollywood and just a lot of stuff. But especially Hollywood, because I really believe that like, right now, we're at the point where there's so much we don't know, and there's so much that we're doing, that we're involving ourselves in on a day-to-day, -day, and like we don't realize what kingdom we are representing, and then we wonder why the world is the way that we, that it is. And it's because like, we are still so enslaved. We're just like the Israelites. We have all these other gods. We have all these other gods that are before the one true living God. And then we're asking God, God, where is this? Why haven't you done this? How come this? How come that? And he's like, why don't you ask your current most high, the, your, 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 your number one God. Cause that's what he does. He's a gentleman. He's like, Hey, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go where I'm not wanted. I'm not going to go where I'm not being appreciated. I'm not going to go where I'm not being respected, where I'm not being valued. If you want to go and, 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 and be adulterous, that's why he calls us adulterous. If you want to go and cheat on me with, 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 with the God of money, mammon, if you want to go and cheat on me with, you know, all these other gods, then go and do that. Don't come crying to me when it, when it, well, do come crying to him actually, because <laughs> he's the father and he loves us and he's got more love than any of us would ever have, uh, to be fair. So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I am going to do a separate video sharing my, just some of my frustrations as a whole with just the state of the world today, because I feel like, it's, like, like, I don't know. Listen, I'm glad that this, you guys are listening to me at the very least, but more people need to stand up, but we won't get into that in this because I just want this to be a video for us. Sorry that I've been a bit AWOL. But, you know, you girls fighting, I always prioritize above all else. I prioritize the mission, whatever it takes. I've decided I've resolved within myself, whatever it takes. I must fulfill like 
what God has called me to do on this planet. I must do what the Lord has done and whatever it takes for me to do it, I will do it. I have to be prepared to lose everything and anything at any time because if I'm holding on to anything or anything at all, and this is where the pitfall comes, that is the very thing that the enemy is going to attack because then that's the thing that's going to get me to act in disobedience. And that's why I have to always at every given moment be prepared to give up everything and anything because otherwise that's going to be the dingle dangle of the enemy. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much. The pure souls, pure, gentle, lovely souls that you all are. Um, yeah, check out my videos that are coming out. There's going to be lots of fun videos, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just really excited to be back and excited to have so much stuff to actually want to talk about. And finally be done with freaking Adam and Eve because my gosh, was like getting bored in the house, bored in the house, bored in the board, in the house, bored in the house, bored of those two of those people, which is us the homo sapien. Anyways, guys, love you. God loves you. If life's a game, let's play to win. God bless you all. And goodbye.